Welcome back. In when I last left off, I was in the process of trying to uh, get these pulleys aligned on the redrive. And as you can see here, basically got 90 degrees, 89, 98, 89, 99. Um, and on the top one, and that, so that's the lower pulley there. And on the top one, basically the same thing. So that's not pretty much 90 degrees there um, in terms of its level. And there you can see the bubble in the level and it's pretty much the same thing here however uh, in testing that really doesn't mean much because what ends up happening is when the whole redrive is turning in one direction the belt wants to sort of walk um, towards the front of the aircraft when it's turning in the normal air in the normal direction which is anti-clockwise and when you spin the propeller back the other way, which is you know opposite the direction that it normally turns, the belt wants to walk aft towards the rear of the aircraft. So it really ends up being kind of like a, a balance that you have to maintain or achieve uh, to get it to not walk in the direction that you're uh, you know wanting it to walk. Um, the other thing you have to do here is align it this way. So I, I use these uh, straight edges here. But anyway, this is after working on it for a while on Wednesday and getting everything perfectly aligned. And took it outside, um, started it up, and it pretty much does the same thing as what it does when I'm running it, um, or just actually just turning the propeller by hand. And this is what it looks like here from the pulleys there. So you can see there that the belt on the right hand side the right hand edge of it is at the edge of the pulley itself and it doesn't really move that much under power but I have previous video that shows you know when you power up and you put a lot of torque on the redrive the belt wants to walk to the right uh, even more so and then when you uh, decelerate it wants to sort of come back to where it was so it's kind of like a fine balance uh, that you have to uh, do to adjust it to get it right and so really what it ends up being is you can't just go and align the belts or align the pulleys um, you know just directly and hope that it's going to work you actually have to sort of take the top pulley and sort of turn it to one side uh, from its alignment from the lower one and that'll force it to walk in the one direction but you can't do it too much because if you do it too much it's going to want to walk all the way uh, in this case to the left so it's really a fine line I remember when I was uh, working on this way back when when I just had it on the test stand for the first time I actually did the same type of thing I experimented with different angles on it and uh, you know was able to get it lined up nicely so it wasn't really walking so much um, but uh, you know this is now with no uh, idler pulleys on there as you can see and I wanted to see if there's any difference with that but pretty much the same story going on here um, the belt still wanting to walk to the front of the aircraft in other words to the right here so the idler actually doesn't really have much effect on it um, the horizontal uh, nature of it in terms of alignment like I was showing you with the spirit level earlier that doesn't have too much of an effect on it either you you definitely want to get it um, you know pretty well aligned that way and then what you need to do is actually you know look from the top down view uh, cock the top one to one side so it's actually rotated and in this case um, what I'm actually doing is rotating it anti-clockwise compared to the bottom one if you're looking from the top down and what that does gives you the effect of having it want to walk to the rear um, or in this case you know with this particular camera angle uh, walk to the left and here you can see I've got the idlers in place and it really doesn't make a difference so this is with everything like just perfectly aligned uh, horizontally and vertically and you can see the belt is definitely wanting to ride um, to the right hand side and it is on the lower pulley there actually touching the fence um, which is not you know ideal uh, so anyway I spent 
quite a bit of time messing around just trying to figure all this out because I can't remember actually what I did when I was first doing it when I still had the engine on the test stand but I did manage to get it sorted out back then that it, the belts would ride in the middle um, I don't know I must have been smarter back then or something to get it to be able to work right um, so anyway and while that was all going on I decided to uh, do a little bit of something productive as well because that was just a lot of messing around so here I'm updating the databases and also updating the system software on both the G3X um, panels there and also on the GTN 750 and at the same time all the other devices there, even the G5 on the left hand side got the latest update of software on there so it took a while to do that because I had to you know update everything basically and I still got I think one more database I have to update on the GTN 750 because I only have a four gigabyte card right now I've ordered a couple of eight gigabyte ones and you can't go bigger than that for these devices they just don't read it uh, so anyway after a bunch more messing around with the pulleys and finally figuring out what I needed to do I've gone and adjusted it so I've got the top one cocked uh, if you're looking down anti-clockwise a couple of degrees from the lower pulley and that um, forces it to stay pretty much in the center there and even when it's running there you can see it's almost um, at the wanting to walk forwards and I'm gonna have to try it out again and put my other camera on board and see uh, see how it goes under full load um, but there you can oh, it's difficult to see there but you'll see the GoPro camera in a second it's still riding to the front but it's barely touching that fence so I think it'll be okay I mean the other option is to have it ride to the rear and there's really no way to get it to ride perfectly in the center it's just a matter of getting it to ride with the least amount of pressure on the fence that you can so as you can see here you see there's a little bit of space on the right hand side there but once it starts up the belt wants to walk to the right hand side both of them um, but in this case they're not really doing it that much compared to what it was uh, before so I'm gonna have to test it some more and this is the GoPro camera and it vibrates quite a lot so what I'll do is mount one of my Sony cameras and uh, do some runs you know some power runs up and down the runway and just see how much the belt moves around if it decides or if it ends up you know walking any further to the right than what it is right now I can um, you know just angle the top redrive a little bit more anti-clockwise to make the, the belt walk um, to the left in this case from this camera angle um, but again it's just something I have to experiment with and you'll see here I just rev the engine up a little bit just to see what it does with respect to um, the belt walking under higher RPMs and in this particular case it didn't really move that much but I think it happens more so uh, under load I actually look back at um, a previous video where I caught that idler pulley um, uh, jumping around when the belt was slipping and I noticed the belts there were really walking to the right hand side so I'm probably going to have that same thing happen here but um, yeah it's really frustrating because I spent three days working on this because the first thing I had to do is try and understand what was going on and uh, learning that just aligning everything perfectly doesn't actually work that just basically sets everything up to want to walk in the one direction and you know if it was spinning the other way it would want to walk the other way and then just experimenting with it to see you know how much angle that you need to put on it in order to make it walk or not walk uh, to the one side um, takes a lot of time because every time I just make an adjustment on it I shim it out and then I actually have to turn the prop by hand about like two full rotations to see where the belt walked to and then you know make my adjustment again and then turn the prop by hand you know two full rotations again um, so you know it's very tedious and time consuming and you can see here doesn't appear to be moving any further to the right 
when I'm revving up, but this was nowhere near a full power run. I was just only bringing it up to about, I don't know, 1700 RPM. So anyway, the week the weather's going to be good over the weekend, so I'll mount my proper camera there and do some some more tests just to make sure that that belt isn't going to walk too far to the right there and really push up against the fences on that lower pulley. So I know this uh, isn't really an exciting video for this uh, second half of this week, but believe me, my uh, second half of my week wasn't exciting either. I was just messing with this all week and then. Um, I mean pretty much all week just been messing with trying to get this figured out to see what's all going on and how to get it all aligned. Uh, anyway, that's the update for this week. I'll be working over the weekend and seeing if I can check all that out and make it good. And if so, I'll back out on the runway and do some more tests. So thanks again for watching and tune in again on Tuesday.